Welcome to the customer service department for open cart video demo. My name is Stefan. Uh, let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to click up here at the login screen and there's my email. So I'm going to log in and there you go. It's that simple. Um, this is what you get with your new uh, page. First thing I'm going to show you is the account page shows that you are logged in as your first name and it removes the transaction link and it also adds a logout link at the bottom for convenience to the uh, account module. It changes the title to customer service department for first name of the person and what it does here is it has a quick overview section that shows uh, how many orders you've had so far so here it shows I've had one order so if I go in there and I can show you there was my sample order that I did just to show you and if I continue it takes me back to that page my balance is uh, called transactions in open cart and it's confusing to administrators so it's even more confusing to your uh, users. First thing is transactions gets removed from here because it's uh, it's kind of a useless feature but let me explain why it's not entirely useless. Um, if you go to my balance you see here it's called transactions and I gave this person a registration bonus of fifty dollars if you were to say uh, issue a refund or they deposited more money than they needed um, or uh, if there was some kind of balance in the cart uh, it, open cart can take care of that and show you that balance it's, so it's called transaction so what I've done is I've renamed it to my balance because it goes better to uh, what a customer service department would be expect so you show up at the customer service you know how many orders you've had you can click to get there or uh, as you can see there's the order history so whether I click here or here it's going to take me to the same page which is there okay so uh, my balance takes me to the transactions which has been removed from here because again it's useless and it's also not in here so the only place to get to your balance is here my points uh, I have 5150 points and if I click on it there you go it shows you that I have my points and uh, there's also the link right there for my points. Now a lot of people are going to say I don't use points in my cart so can I remove that? No, why would you want to, why, why? Why would you want to do that? Listen, um, do you use those coffee cards uh, where you buy 10 coffees and they give you a free cup of coffee? It's a great little shtick but, but you use it. Uh, do you have a frequent member points or Maybe right now you have no interest in using the points or the reward system, but this is not something you want to take lightly. So what I would do is I would start giving people one point per purchase or 10 points per purchase. And when they ask you about the point system, say there's no system in place right now, but we're starting to give you points so you can accumulate. And uh, in the future, when you make certain purchases, we'll give you 10% off. Um, I, I see too many posts where people want to turn off points. Um, I, pardon me for calling you on it you're too lazy to use a feature built in that's going to get you more sales lots of people are addicted to just seeing their points climb and climb and climb so don't be lazy do yourself a favor and look into the points reward system and start giving your customer points and let them buy stuff or get discounts um, or or even get a t-shirt once they get a thousand points you send them a free t-shirt to your cart it's that simple so don't overlook this is a great way to make money on your cart Next one is this one. If you go into the back end in the admin section, you can see when your customer joined. There's no way for your customer to actually know when they joined your cart. And that's a great way to show retention and loyalty. And right now it shows that I just created the account a few days ago here. So that's at the overview section. And then what I did is I organized it by two rows. The first row uh, takes you to uh, the my account page which shows you the account details and then the password page so if you've been through this in open cart before I'm not showing you anything uh, new and different uh, there's the address and there's the order history and finally there's the downloads um, a lot of people want to remove the download section because you don't sell downloads that's fine you could give people free documentation you could give people bonus information reports uh, white papers uh, on and on and on there's another one you should never ever remove the download section and you should actually throw stuff in there so when your customers log in and they go hey look there's a there's a bonus document that nobody told me was there I'm glad I looked in this section so there's another opportunity 
lucky to get some good links and sales and referrals by using the download section properly. The next one is newsletter. Um, so subscribe or don't subscribe while I'm talking about the newsletter check out the Mr. Tech uh, plugin for a Weber for open cart uh, give myself a little plug there my points I've talked about already the wish list you know the wish list when you go and you add a cart um, a product to the wish list uh, you can view it from the menu up there but it's nice to have a little uh, link right in your account uh, returns now if you look down here, you can, right there, you can customer service returns. Um, it takes you to a form that lets you see you have uh, not made any previous returns, continues. So there's nothing there to uh, view uh, about my returns and gift cards. Now this is the money making feature right there that's going to pay for the cost of this extension. Uh, gift vouchers down here is the same as gift cards up here so I made it uh, more prominent with the icon and when you go because you're logged in look at that it already adds your name and your email address so you just have to say to who you're sending the gift card for choose a theme and tell them how much you're gonna say and give them a little message and off you go send it why is this good well because that's cash my friends gift cards are cash if they never get spent you still have the money in hand so uh, there's a multi-billion dollar industry going on right now around the world where gift cards are being sold for every major store, every major everything. And so don't cheat yourself out of the gift cards program because you don't think you know how to do it. It's not hard. There's nothing to do. It's all built in. It all works. You don't even have to turn it on or off. You go to gift card. Your customer buys one. The email gets sent. They get a code. When they make a purchase, they can enter the gift card code to use the gift card. That simple. It's 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 not rocket science it already works so make sure you use the gift card feature and now by having this account module you will actually make more sales because the only other way for your customers to go and buy that is this little link here there is no other link anywhere else and now there is actually two links so that's um the icons also are brand new and let me go over my quick link here mm -mm 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 the account module no stronger the, yes oh yes when i go to my orders right here if i go into orders there is a print button and if i click print it actually or uh, shows up my print box and i can print the um, order um handy little button if uh, your customer actually just lost it or needs to get another copy of it doesn't uh, exist by default on the open cart site and the last one is is when you send um, a customer email when the customer registers on your site for the first time an email is sent that says hey welcome to open cart glad you can have uh, the time to join us and all that great stuff uh, my mod adds the first name of the customer and says, you know, welcome, Stefan, to your new account on my open cart site. Why is that a good thing? Well, when you get to Google or Yahoo Mail and all those places, if they see the name of the account holder in the email, then they might rank that as, hey, it's not spam because they have the name. Therefore, they may deliver it to the inbox and as opposed to the spam folder or the junk mail or what have you so adding the first name to the customer registration email is a great way to try to get your um, mail delivered installation is easy you just upload the contents and that's it nothing else to it it's called the mr tech customer service department for open carts available exclusively for you if you buy the uh, if you buy the, the if you buy it right now yes i'm mumbling my words exclusively for you by clicking the buy now button thank you for watching